name's Marion. I'm a freelance photographer. Um, I've done a handful of weddings in the past couple of years, and it's been a good experience. I do a lot of family sessions, uh, maternity um, engagement shoots. Um, I've even done, you know, album covers for certain artists. And this has been my profession for the past three years since COVID started. And on the side, my passion is uh, shooting street photography. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of your work. Street photography is beautiful. And I was like curious, you know, I wanted to know like how you think through it, what what your, you know, how you how you feel through your images. To be honest, I just go out there and I shoot. Um, I don't think about compositions. Something about a specific person on the street would grab my attention and then I'm just gonna go find my way over there and take a photo of him. Usually we want him candid, obviously. So we try not to be seen. But sometimes when you get that good eye contact, um, it definitely brings out a different uh, kind of feel for the photos. Right, that's the, like what you wanna convey with your imagery, right? Like a feeling. Yes, a, a certain type of mood per se. And what's your process, like your workflow? Do you just kind of like decide you want to shoot a certain thing or a certain camera or how do you work through that? I'll probably line up two lenses. Um, and then the next day when I wake up, I'll just, whichever lens that I feel, that I feel like I'll just grab that one and shoot the entire session with that one lens. It's always actually a prime lens. It forces me to find different angles and push my skills to the limit. It's a good way to self-motivate, right? It forces you to be more creative when, you know, taking photos of the subject. So if it's why, you know, you, you gotta find more sneaky ways to get up closer to strangers without, you know, freaking them out. Cause you never know how they'll react if, you know, they feel like you're stalking them. There's an element of being discreet. Absolutely. Definitely keeps it super, super interesting. If you challenge yourself, especially, you know, shooting from the hip or, you know, you're just, you're putting the camera down at, at a certain angle, just hoping that you get a good frame of this person. And then after a while, you kind of get used to it. And then it becomes just like a new achievement unlocked that you, you now know like this specific, you know, angle that you don't even really have to look at, you know, the viewfinder. What kind of advice would you give someone that's just starting out in street photography? Any other photography? You have? Most of the questions that I get is like, you know, how, how do you go out and just take photos of strangers? You know, a lot of people, they tell me that they're super nervous. They don't want to get caught. They don't know, you know, what to do if, you know, someone approaches them and says, oh, why did you take my photo? You know, they don't want to be confronted by a stranger, you know? And I think for most people, taking photos of a stranger is it's not really like a natural feeling because I guess they kind of think like you're kind of invading their, their sense of privacy. But just so you know, it is legal to take photos of people on public property. And they say, you know, how do you do it? You just seriously, there's no other way but to just go out and do it. That's what I did. Like I went out there and did it. I felt uncomfortable for a long time. I even still feel uncomfortable when I go out and shoot right now, but that all goes away in like 10 minutes. Once you get the warm up, like you're good to go. You're on, you're, you're on a roll. Basically, like, don't overthink it, right? Just don't overthink, out. just do it. And if you see something, just take a photo. Like, you know, so gradually you'll develop the courage, in my opinion, to just get closer and closer and closer. If you have, you know, a wider lens, but you know, you can always, if you're not comfortable, shoot with a long lens, such as like an 85, 135 primes. Um, they're usually really fast and you get really good depth and they're super, super crispy. We have some amazing advice there. Like, don't don't overthink. Go out and just actually shoot to your you're in the zone and feeling comfortable. Yes, yes. You know, if you're a little timid, a little shy, you can always. It's okay. Get the, get the big lens. Get the big lens. Yeah, get the 600 and you're kind of like in the back. Oh yeah. Nobody's seeing you. But like on the serious note, like yeah. there's also an element of respect and discreetness, right? You're not like sticking it in someone's face. Oh, absolutely not. Making them uncomfortable or anything. No, um, most of the time it's, it's, you don't really want to be noticed. You can't expect to never be noticed. So, you know, just try your best, get the candid vote. They're all about candid, but it's like scenes from, you know, hopefully what you see from me is like a scene from a comic book or a scene from a movie. You know, they don't know you're there. It's just as if, 
you know, a candid moment of life. Nice. Yeah. So like each image is a story in and of itself. Well, hopefully that's what you guys feel when you see my photos. I would, that's, you know, that's the goal. And um, yeah. That's awesome, man. So um, where can people like, you know, follow you, keep up with your work? Um, you guys can follow me at Mao Marion, M-O-U-M-A-R-I-O-N. Um, that's my IG handle, threads, and Twitter. That's where I post most of my stuff. You guys can also see some of my um, freelance work on my website, which is malmarion.com. That's excellent. Thank you so much uh, for sharing your insights and knowledge and your advice. Absolutely. And of course, your amazing imagery. Uh, we look forward to seeing you again and uh, seeing more of your amazing work. Right on. Thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate it.